Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again and welcome to my brand new video series, Toy Hacks Flashbacks. This was an idea that kind of came to me due to the fact I do all these Toy Hacks reviews and a lot of folks ask me, hey, what kind of tricks can you teach us? What kind of tools do you use? And so I have a real hard time actually filming the application of the stickers onto some of the more modern figures, but I thought maybe I could show you guys how I apply them to vintage Transformers. And I thought it would be neat to show my restoration process as well, along with putting the decals on. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am sponsored by toyhacks.com. But not only am I sponsored by them, I have been a customer there since 2012, I believe. And what drew me to them was their Generation 1 decals. I mean, they were known as repro labels at the time. And I love restoring vintage Transformers. So that's how I stumbled across Toy Hacks with uh, decals, re reproduction decals for vintage figures. So the first figure I'm going to do with this series is I'm going to decal up my original Generation 1 Optimus Prime. This Optimus Prime has been featured in almost every video review I've done. I always use him for a size comparison with an Autobot. And I've had a lot of people say, hey, when are you going to decal that Prime up? Well, now's the time. Now, I picked this Prime up at a yard sale about three years ago. And man, he was in great shape. I was even shocked to find that his fists were stored in his uh, cab section here. He was in truck mode. I had to buy the gun off eBay, but Prime himself looks really good. He's missing, well, he's missing all of his decals. I gave him these symbols right here from some Toy Hacks decals that I had spare. So I figured let's go ahead and get him looking brand new with this set from Toy Hacks. Now, I'm not going to decal up his trailer. I have like three different Prime trailers. They all look pretty good. This is the only one that really needs some help. So with this video series, I am going to go over how I decal Prime up and what I'm going to do to make him look brand new, including touching up some of the chrome using a Molotov chrome pin. So now without further ado, let's make this Prime look like he just came off the assembly line in 1984. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews Toy Hacks Flashbacks. Can't stop this feeling of the 80s. For me, the dream still lives on. Wow. We'll kick things off by taking a look at my Optimus Prime as he is before any Toy Hacks decals. I've cleaned him up really good since I bought him at that flea market a few years back because he's been on my shelf in my collection and he's been a star in most of my YouTube videos. He does have a few issues I'm really looking forward to taking care of is right here, these silver stripes along the side. These are factory decals. You didn't put these on. These came already applied to the figure, but mine, see, is peeling off right there. And here on the other side, this one is missing completely. So all these are going to be replaced. The decals right here on his shoulders, those are Toy Hacks decals that, uh, you know, the free set you always get. These are the decals that came with that. So I'm going to replace those. Uh, down here on the bumper, you can see a little bit of black right there. I'm going to touch that up with my chrome pen. And he's got black spots all over his smokestacks. Other than that, I mean, really clean, very nice figure. I'm very happy I found him in a flea market and I only paid three dollars for him, so that was a great find. So there's one final look at my Generation 1 Optimus Prime before his Toy Hacks makeover. Now let's begin Optimus Prime's restoration, and I have all the items I think I need for this procedure. The first thing you need, of course, is the Toy Hex decal sheet printed here on this nice foil backing. I have my handy dandy Toy Hex tweezers that also double as my pointer in all my reviews. I have a flat tip pair of tweezers right here, 
and my Molito Chrome Pen. I love this thing. I have restored lots of G1s with this. Now let's go ahead and get Prime all prepped for his new decals. And the first thing I need to do is peel off these factory stickers where they are already peeling and curling. If you are a Generation 1 purist, you may want to turn away right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my thumbnail up and under that curl. See if I can get a hold of it. And peel back. And it looks like it's bringing some paint with it. That's unfortunate. But... This section is going to be covered up by the decal, so I'm not really too worried. And that actually came off really good. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Didn't really leave any residue. Now, if it did leave residue, I always use Goo Gone. And I like the spray gel because it kind of stays in place and doesn't really go everywhere and make a big mess. But that's only if there's a lot of residue this actually came off really clean. So let me peel this one now. I usually always try to use my fingernails if possible. I don't want to use any sharp objects for risk of damaging the toy. And that came off real good. Once again, no residue. Let's go here on the other side. That's got a bad peel right there. Let's see, cannot get it with my left hand. So we'll get a hold of the curl, if possible. Might have to scrape it down a little bit. Now this is one I can't really get a hold of. So now, this is where the flat tip tweezers come into play. There we go, I've got it. You always want to peel nice and slow. And there we go, that one came off clean. Looks like it took some paint off with it as well. Man, these were good stickers back in the day. Now, the front section where this paint's coming off, that is your die cast metal. Back here, these are plastic, so I shouldn't have any paint issues. And these decals actually wrap around. So I'm gonna kind of move the smokestack out of the way, see if I can get a hold of this one. Maybe. Okay, I've got it all started now. Using nothing but my thumbnail, I was able to get it loose. So now we'll peel that off of his arm. And unfortunately, that is tearing. That is very thin foil decal. I've got it up. Let's go ahead and get it all the way off the figure around the arm here. And there we go. Once again, left no residue behind. I love that. That always simplifies things. Let's see, one here on this side. Let's go ahead and open the arm up. And let's see where a good starting point is. Oh, there we go. Well, that's handy. It's already coming apart right there. So I'll get my get that arm up so I can get my thumbnail in. And there we go. The stripes are now off Optimus Prime. Now he does have these little tiny triangle looking sections here that I believe, yep, right there on the decal sheets. And we'll try to get those off. Those are actually coming off really easy. That's kind of going in behind his front here. Let's see. There we go, came right out. Do it on the other side. And there we go. Now the stripes are completely taken off. Now the only decals remaining are these Toy Hacks decals right there on his shoulders. And for these, since they're newer, they should come right off as well. Peeled right off. The shoulders are a little hard because there's a lot of texture right there that's catching on my thumbnail and I can't get a hold of the sticker too good. There we go. You always got a sticker stuck on your finger when you do this. And there we go. I've got Prime completely de-stickered. Now right there, there is some residue. So what I'm going to do is use the Goo Gone right here. I'm going to apply that to the residue on his shoulder, but I'm not going to do it in here because I don't want the Goo Gone on my 
work area, I'll take this down to the kitchen. So here we are now in my kitchen, and I apologize for the lighting. I normally don't film in here, and like my vintage countertop. So anyway, I've got Prime right there. You can see the adhesive that's left over. We got the goo gone, and spray a little gel right there where the adhesive is. Work it in with my thumb, and I'm going to let that sit for about three minutes. A few minutes later. Okay, it's been around three minutes. Let's check on, on Prime here. And looks like the residue is coming off. Very easy, too. What I like to use is a hot, wet wash rag and just go over the area where you sprayed the goo gone. Let's see, we got a towel right here. And that's nice and clean. Now I'm going to rinse off Prime under the tap to make sure all the Goo Gone residue is off because you don't want Goo Gone left on the figure when you're trying to put on the decals because the decals will not stick. So I'll meet you back upstairs in my office. Now that Optimus Prime is good and dry, it's time to finally apply the decals. And I want to show off real quick my work area for when I do apply Toy Hex decals. I've got my little area right here, plenty of lights, and my monitor is there where I blow up the toy hex screen so I can see where the decals go. So I got that with an easy view of what I'm doing right here. So first thing we're going to do is take a look at the decals, and right here, according to Toy Hex's site, and I'm really glad I checked this out this morning, up here on top is a longer silver strip than the ones below. So the longer strip is what will go along the cab, the metal part. And what I do like is see how it's indented. So those decals are gonna be really easy to match up, even the tiny little triangle decals right there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my Toy Hex tweezers, and I really try my best not to touch the decals at all. So we're gonna start with the little triangles first. Bend that slightly so I can catch that edge. There's a couple different options here. Let's try. There we go. So I've got that one off. Now we're going to match it up. It goes right here. Slow and steady wins the race with these applying these decals. Oh, wait a second. Let me look. Actually, it goes like that. You don't want to rush when you're applying these Toy Hex decals. You want to make sure you get them in the right spot. Get it lined up. Usually I take the pointy end of the tweezers, smooth it down. Then I'll take my thumb apply some pressure, and there's the decal right there. Now let's go ahead and get the long decal. Once again, get up and under that edge. Peel it off. I'll make sure and line that up just right. There we go. And since that's going to wrap around the corner, I'm going to press while pulling tight. And let's see, we need to move that arm out of the way. Actually, no, that'll that'll bend down. So I'm going to take my tweezers again. Once again, pulling tight, making sure that lines up. And using my, oops, see right there, that happens every now and then. It just doesn't line up perfectly. This is actually really hard to do on camera. So there we go. Use some fingernail to get in there. And there is the stripe for that side. Now we'll go ahead and do one of the others. This one, this is the one that goes here in the middle, so I need to move the arm out of the way. Swing that up. 
line that up right there and there we go and now for the final one here on his arm we'll take the last silver decal And it'll go, let's straighten that arm out or get it out of the way. Move the smokestack out of the way. This is really hard to do on camera, so I hope you guys are appreciating this. Got that lined up. Pull it tight. Get the arm back, get the smokestack out of the way. Pull him back tight again. Let's see. That one's not wanting to do it with the tweezers, so I'll just use my thumb. And there we go. Now I always apply some pressure. You kind of get that friction heat going on to really make sure those decals are good. So let's get him together. And there we have Prime with his new stripes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. Okay, I've got the stripes along both sides. Pretty happy with that. Now let's move down here to the legs. We'll do the knees. And the knees have these little T-shaped areas. And according to, from what I can tell, let's see. And pop this off here. We'll switch this around. We're trying to see because if you look at the yellow stripe, the yellow stripe's different. So it looks like the yellow spot or the yellow square is right here on the right legs. We'll line that up. It doesn't go all the way down, stops right here on this edge. Okay, there's knee sticker number one. Get that peeled off. Now you always want to peel your Toy Hex decals off slowly because if you do it too fast, sometimes you can rip them. Let's see, got that one on a little crooked. He like said, This is a challenge to do this on camera. Usually I, I'm right on top of these. There we go. Now, down here for the toes, the toes have these decals right here. It looks like the red and yellow. Let's see, the red's on the bottom of robot mode. Peel the decal. And we'll line that up as straight as possible. Apply some pressure, some heat. Okay, there's one decal. Let's do the other side. Same thing, try to get it centered. Apply some pressure. And there's the feet decals. Now we're going to move up here to the arms. The forearms, rather. Let me straighten Prime up. Okay. So these decals right here, and it looks like, let me find a good image of Prime. I can't really tell from the image I have up, but I did save another. The triangle portion is here on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and peel this section. There we go. This is gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna need to go in from the side on this one. Try my best to get it centered. There we go. Now we'll do the other side. Now, here's where it's hard because I have to make sure that I have this side centered just like this one. My OCD does not allow any mistakes. Peel this out. Switch it around so I can grab by the side. Okay, it looks like he's about up that far. And hold down on one end. 
Didn't get it centered. Did not get it centered. Let's try, try it again. I like about these toy hex decals, you can usually stick a couple different times without ruining the adhesive. So there we go. So there is Prime's other arm. Now we do the shoulder decals and we're done. These are a lot shinier than the ones I had before. And I usually I'll just match up. I can use those little ridges to get these centered. And once again, you apply the pressure and that is it for Prime's decals. Now we're gonna to touch up the chrome. I got my Molotov chrome pin right here. Give it a shake. And with this, I usually make sure, get a little white section here, okay, it is marking. Very light strokes with this. So I know he's got these black marks right there. I'll hit that a couple times, hit that one a couple times. Let's see. I know there were some others up here on the smokestacks. Go ahead and transform me into truck mode. It'll make put it on the smokestacks a little easier. Knock my light down. So on the smokestacks, we got a little up here on top. Touch that up. Touch that up. Looking around. Let me hit underneath there a little bit more. Got some smudges there on the lights. And I think, whoop, they're on the gas cap, your gas can. Fuel tank. Fuel tank's what that's called. Hit that. Hit that. And with the chrome marker, I usually let that dry about 24 hours, but you really do not want to touch that. Let it dry really good. Just transform him, put him up on the shelf. So now let's take a look at Optimus Prime now that I've completed my restoration of him. And here we have my 1984 Generation 1 Optimus Prime all restored thanks to Toy Hacks and Molotov Chrome Pins. I am really impressed with how good he looks now. As I said, it looks like he just came right out of the package. He could be one of those Walmart reissues for all you know. I love how he has the stripes all the way around now. He looks so good and so clean. I couldn't be happier. Once again, Toy Hacks knocks it out of the park. Now I need some help from you guys. Did you enjoy the video? Did you find it too long? Is there anything I can do to make it better? This is my first attempt with my Toy Hacks flashback series. I always look forward to constructive criticism. And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! Can't stop this!